Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting and everything and amazing propaganda cast with me, your host, Pearl Dane, the one, the only master propaganda here. It's like defender of the fatherland of you to one me one own. You guessed it, it is uh, Nexus. In the West, it is Thai, fighting here for America, freedom, democracy, taking on the role of the third armored nation here with tactical support, airborne, and infantry. In the east, it is Rex fighting for the Wehrmacht, Germany, Deutschland. Here with the 9th Panzer Division, here with Mechanus Assault featuring the Assault Grenadiers, the Mechanus Assault Group, the Stug 3E, Light Artillery Barrages, and of course the Tiger Tank. So, Grenadier, or Assault Gun named you for two start here. Actually, no Infantry Company. So, he will be skipping that Infantry Company most likely. Dove Rifle for trial. And as always, a big hearty thanks for my patron supporters. Wonderful people, one and all. Great and. Lovely is the support of the propaganda cast keeps me going here and supports worth it. So big thanks to all those. Other people can join my club Patreon Patreon. Enjoy my undying gratitude, or you can donate by PayPal. Links are in the description. I always consider pre ordering comments for you, or you know, using the code in the or the link in the comments using the code for and just you know, comment, like, share, subscribe. So up north the was the pioneers MD4 to moving forwards in the south. You've got Glenys Assault Glitch moving forwards here for Rex. Looking at least one more squad here, probably two though. Most players tend to go for three assault grenades, then MD42 racks would definitely be making a very bold move by just going for two of them, but that would be very unlikely. Or is it just not going to wait? There we go. Second assault grenade squad on the way there, it's heading south with the assault grenadiers with the MP40s. Worth noting, most Vamma players typically tend not to go for assault grenades, whereas the rifleman, as the matchup there, is typically a lot less smoother in favor of the assault grenadiers. In particular, due to some of the maps there, it can be very difficult to get your assault grenades up to close to the right minute at a very easy pace so typically most of our players will not go for them clearly rex is not one of those i'm not saying that's because uh, personally can also find that sort of being useful against them but the trick is getting them within those ranges but there you go right score to you more than helpfully gets within the range of the assault gun ideas and quickly scores a kill there carl drops dead i think it's short the rest of the score the corner was clear and there you go another man drops dead that spot this time around Four assault grenades now versus three men. The assault grenades keep hamming in there, but the Rav squad at this point are doing heavier damage to the assault grenades. Much closer engagement here. Second assault grenade squad busy, I think, around the center. Machine and pioneers up north here. I think he's going to need to retreat those assault grenades now before they get wiped. Lots of into pouring in there for try. Obviously, not going to abandon his men inside that building to die to the Nazis. No man left behind. Ambulance there for try. No tech yet interesting enough that's actually an interesting deviation the most players like go for the lieutenant first or the captain but try is actually going for a fairly fast ambulance so that is an interesting deviation there as for rex we in fact getting two assault guns then tech of course the md4 too as well which is also an interesting deviation here from the typical shall we say mechanized assault gun the ability here. so some interesting choices here from both players interesting choices up north here sandbags from the northern fuel point machine gun as already the md42 Assault is reinforcing there. Ralph's coming about. Ralph's coming against the Ralph Assault Committee here. Might want to pop them back a bit here. Yep. There we go. May also want to, of course, not just park the machine gun then forget about it. Typically means it's less effective. And there you go. Fast. Pan's going to do a squad for Rex. Very interesting build order here. Definitely not one I'm typically seeing. And there you go. Also, try. He does something very interesting as well. He's using his ambulance fairly actively. Most players, again, just, you know, park inside the base and forget about it. But try. He has got other plans. He believes in healthcare. Maybe that's because he's actually French. Anyway, so up north, you've got Telemines down there for Rex. The soldier has been pushed back with the Rife Squad. Of course, he knows he can't close in there. And note the way Tri organizes Rifeman. Broad pattern. Makes it hard for the soldier to just close in and deal with one. Creates sort of a more crossfire situation. And that means the MG4 tech becomes more necessary. But again, Rex has it parked all up the way there. So that's a slight tap lower side. Of course, Pantagon could maybe do some work here. But still, not super great here for Rex. And I don't think he's quite aware of he's up against at the moment. But again... No, the pattern. He's not blopping, but crucially, they're still working together. But it's more like, you know, supporting fire range. So they also that way not say, all oh, just caught by an MG42 and then suppressed either. Obviously, it requires a bit more effort to manage. But if you can manage it, it becomes, as you can see, they're fairly substantially more powerful. That said, they do get bunched up here. And as the pentagons with this bundle grenade, that's obviously a bit uh, risky. And I think try realizes this, begins pulling out the rifle right rather than you getting, well, turning to fat chunks of bolognese with a bun grenade there we go you got tactical support for trying enough you yet to see the officer okay he's going for the captain 
Oh, he's going for the captain and the lieutenant. Oh my, he's going for one of those builds. Like some players would go for commanders like Tattoo Support, go for the lieutenant and a captain, and then rely on the M5 half track here. Plus the Brian Light machine guns in and then otherwise just anti-tank guns and 50 cal. So that's a very interesting choice here by Try as well. Very intriguing. Assault going for the car front here. Rex definitely I think strong a bit here with Try because he's in many ways not quite your average USF player. Also, crucially, by doing this, you also just get a lot more influence chart in a sense. He's got three riflemen, then gets back to the lieutenant and the captain. So it's a more infantry heavy approach, and then if supported with you know, a more active ambulance, that does provide Sent Try, I think, with some potential strong tactical advantages and strategic over his opponent. And I think, in some regards, I think further punishes Rex for just leaving his machine up there in the north. Definitely, I feel like that is one of, like, you know, Rex's uh, big uh, tactical uh, missteps. And I only got grenades as well. Oh, my Try is just really going the length here with the americans an absolute all-star here an absolute all-star good golly absolutely damn impressive there two to two with are sort of sending out here from the north machine gun still parked up there i'm definitely tempted to give that a thumbs down by now because that's definitely pretty insubstantial there not great use of the machine gun, like it would help in so many other engagements. Oh, grenade assault here, though, messes up with the Americans. Forces try to retreat here. Nice throw there, and saves the last remaining pan. going to be avoiding a wipe here for Rex. Armor kills are pursuing here. Could take out the Lieutenant. That's going to be a huge player to try in the early mid game. Good here for Rex, of course. Very good. Helps compensate somewhat from the otherwise, you know, blemished tactical gameplay there. But again, not using the enemy for a tool at all. There we do. Go. Does get the Lieutenant. Very nice. Try still got some to go for the half tech. You can see there's a slight, perhaps, you know, downside to this kind of strategy. Again, we do get the massive infantry surge, but he's relying on then getting enough damage in for that high M5 half tech. We also got bazookas there, but that's picked up from the lieutenant. So I suppose that's a bit of good luck there for Try, a silver lining. So, Northern Pond's been grabbed. He reconnected Northern Fuel. Also worth noting, Rex is controlling the fuel flow. He's going for a pack 40. He's obviously expecting some kind of light vehicle to come and ruin his day. Though at this stage, I would certainly strongly advise either more Pentagon or actually, I might actually advise more another MD-42 and just using that one at least a bit more actively because, again, not a fan of this one. In particular, when the opponent has grenades, this creates another issue, which is like, you know, sure he's got this wide off, but say, theoretically, the opponent has a wide cutter, Boom, blind spot here that can be exploded with a grenade. So, definitely feel like Rexy is definitely being a bit too lazy. If I have, may be permitted to sound a bit too harsh there. Also, there's also just potential of smoke grenades. So, yeah, like this is definitely tactically. I mean, versus a less experienced player, and try is clearly a highly experienced American player. This would obviously, you know, be fine with the MD42, but again. Try is clearly an exceptionally, you know, talented American player already here. And obviously at that point, this is just like, you know, not a great move by Rex. So there we go. Half to out the court man being added. Rav's court being pursued by the Pioneer. Assault is moving up here. Other squad they need to be treated up north in machine gun there. Catches the Rav's court here. Ran a victory lap around the MG42. Kind of got punished for that, I suppose. We got the armor covers and puts. Oh, and we do have a telemine here, though. Rex clearly, though, he's put that much thought into it and blows apart. Tries it. Otherwise, little early sneaky half tech. That was early sneaky half tech. This half tech rush there. And actually, significantly sabotaged a part of Try's strategy, which again was this, you know. But I'm just going to rely on the call in half tech and, you know, mess with my opponent. Go for fast tanks, probably. So. Boom, suddenly the half tech is gone. How will Try respond to this suddenly? Very explosive development. And again, thumbs up to Rex for laying down telemines. Mines, they're great. Not for your opponent, though. So, it's only a match with a lot of surprises here so far. A lot of surprises. Fifth Galliel's up now for try. We'll have to see if it goes for next. Will it be the major? Will it be another half track? What will it be? We also got Brian Light Machines. I got for the infantry, of course, significantly increasing their firepower. And there we go. I think Rex finally, you know, catches the hint and brings in another machine and give her here versus all of these for Dumb Town McCannon. Hey, Gorgon. Yeah, I can't help but notice these for Dumb Town McCannon have a lot of infantry. Maybe we need another machine and give her. You know, I think you're right. Troops in South, the two assault grenade squads. Armor Card is the captain. 
Machine gun hold Norfords again, but this time we got a second machine gun team to cover other points. Or maybe support the troops more actively. Try here with an anti-tank gun. Always a good addition here for freedom and democracy. So just catching the raft court here. Ripping through them people do get, of course, a Mark II frag grenade, but the assault gun is up. Mostly past it, except for Friedrich, who was sadly a bit too slow. M1 anti tank in there. On the way, another grenade here. Very good grenading here by Try. Assault gun squad fat. Close to getting wiped out here. Could get the wipe here. That certainly hurt Rex and Deutschland a bit, but they're going to be photo around the corner. The assault gun is somehow get away from there. That is some bonkers luck there for Rex. Sandbag's being wrecked up the uh, Raptor with the bazooka, not the lieutenant. Of course, the lieutenant has since passed on, and Tri has clearly not replaced him. I'm guessing disgusted with the lieutenant's performance. Green green Sir, that's just one lieutenant. It can't be all lieutenants. No, I will punish all lieutenants by never summoning another one during this battle. Sir, I think you might be a bit touched in the head. I'm a the here with a brand new light machine gun. We got 370, this is 500 so far. Assault is reinforcing here. South here, Assault is going for the Southern Fuel Pump Machine. They might well grab the Victory Point at the same time. Bit of spark way up north. Again, popping the machine gun right back into the same position. I feel like here Rex hasn't quite learned anything, unfortunately. From what uh, Tri is doing there. I feel like he hasn't quite learned anything. Pack remaining with Surf for now. Hasn't really seen any usage. We do have tech here done. We'll have to see what Rex does next. Does he go for H2 3E? Does he push for some medium armor? We got Try there taking up. Thumbs up to that. I want to get those pioneers to Northern Fuel Point. And of course, you know, use that machine gun a bit more actively. Big infinite push here from Try. And the third armor division falls three squads here. Captain leading the effort. Punch with their overwhelmed at that range with so much firepower. Forced to retreat. Pushing Norfolk C, and we do get the Stug 3 out here for Rex and Deutschland, the 9th Panzer Division. Adding some pen amount of machine and gear there. El Capitan Wing Forts, run to the MD42 here. Quick suppress, can of course pop smoke if he so desires. If he doesn't get suppressed first, or retreats. But there goes Stug 3 Wing Forts. Also got a monthly anti tank him, but could deploy a smoke barrage on it once he's seen it. South side, the assault is hunting around here. Got them upgraded by the way, thumbs up to that. The veterans quality upgrade is quite good, and sadly I do see some Bama players being a bit sluggish in upgrading, but clearly Rex is not one of those men. There you go, Ralph's going right here with the Stugi. Send Farm the high explosive shell flies in the young direction. Entertainer is spotted. I think you realize this pulled back the Stugi before the entertainer is able to get a clear line of sight and fire at it. Pack 40 remains from serve here for Rex. Stugi moving up. I probably would have recommended smoke barraging there rather than trying to knock out the anti tank with the Stugi. Need to pull that back before that gets destroyed. Armored Kind Reserve here. South the Assault is pushing up against Rav Squad here. Still feel like some infantry right now for Rex would be a good here. Maybe another Panzer going to squad at this stage. I think could do him a lot of good. Who think people sleep a bit on the power of the Panzer Grenadier. Assault is about to get murdered out by the Rav Squad here since here. A lot of firepower being directed at one lonely squad here. And again, we do see the issue in just like having these two machine guns parked at each the end of the map here, but crucially, not supporting the main fighting here. Got the strafe round calling against the machine gun there, and doing some heavy damage. They almost got the entire machine gun crew. Enforcing healing, got those medics hard at work. As for try, could push for Sherman soon. Cat and Major here. Pushing through here, looking for gaps in the German line before the captain realizes he forgot something. Leaving the major to do the work. Hey, this push for your idea, captain. Sorry, sir. Sherman on the way there for try. M4 E3 Sherman. Graham Norman fuel point. Definitely get up as a poor uh, armor core Schnell. Stug fixed up. Car fumping here there. Got to shop to boo there by try. Panzer there being bombarded by the M1 anti tank gun. Uh, the assault gun is moving for the outs. Very close, 82. Definitely, I think, should just spend on the raft squad here. Also, worth noting what he's not upgrading those with the light machine gun. Been mentioning oversight there by try, and that's it to achieved. So good. 
Uh, considering like his opponent does have a family infantry, I really think Rack should respond with more infantry himself. So Pommel Court is going up here. Could go for Stuk 3G. More likely to go for a Panda 4. Sherman almost down there for try. Stuk 3G though would be pretty good against that. Last coming bad here by the Sturmgeschutz. 3 as for an E. Decent shot there. Panther coming up here. Racing finally got the name before 2 being hammered here by air support. Quite quick to use the strafing run here. South East Hawkins being charged for the That's an interesting move here by try rushing straight at them. Bit bold, if anything. But this case worked out fairly well for him. Stuggy bombarding, firing away the machine guns. Sherman racing through the center here. Another pack 40 for Rex. Could also go in for the Stug 3G, but I guess he didn't like that. Sherman shoots, bounces off the Stug 3E's armor. That is fairly lucky there for Rex. Fairly lucky. Could go for Heat Shell here. There we go. Slightly blind to could open up some shots of the pack 40 on the Sherman. Try to clear, not expecting the Germans to use such advanced high tech weaponry against the, him. Second pack 40 almost done here for Rex and Deutschland. Going for the car on there. Not too bad. And we got here a Morto, my, and a 50 cal more. But Morto, I think, is a good addition here. Inch enough, he could also just wait a bit, go for Scott, but clearly try right, so just having something, I suppose, cheaper and more flexible. Thumbs up. Tier 4 for Rex. What? That's... Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what Rex's game plan is here. I mean, I'm guessing he does hold the fuel points and all that, but still, I don't think in current circumstances you'll be pushing, like, straight ahead for, like, you know... The big tanks under current circumstances. I feel like tactically that one is a bit, well, strategically as well, is a bit less uh, defensible right now for Rex. And we've also in the south again, got quickly pushed off. Again, not a huge fan of the machine guns being employed the way he is. Eric Constant from Tribe, thumbs up. I mean, he's actually like almost got full bingo already at this point. All he needs to go for the Kalaip. He's got full bingo on tactical support here. Ladies and gentlemen. Assault is going here for the anti-tank and they're showing rushing in here. Light artillery battery called in here though by Rex and Deutschland. Small artillery battery there bombarding the American position with these dodge here though. We do have the machine and they're being employed finally in more active support for the front line. Thumbs up to Rex. Fairly late to the party on that one. But you know, it's a start. It's a start. Stuke Emi on there bombarding the infantry being hammered here in for two, causing him a losses. Aircraft. Oh, that's the armor car getting knocked up with the Sherman. Stugi, seven kills, close to 82, and some Schutzen. Not that I believe any Stugis were really mounted with them, though technically, I suppose they could have done that if they wanted to. Stugi versus the fifth car in the center. Very, very close to 82. We've got the pack being flanked with the Sherman. But knowing at least they're kind of spread out, so we can't easily deal with both of them. Fifth car Lee being murdered here with the Stugi. Backed up in the info We've got a fifth car flanking in here. On the MD4 to around the center, and the South Sherman backing out of it. Rex could go for Panther 4 here now. I would certainly recommend that or Stug G here. But again, Rex might have bigger plans here versus Try and freedom and democracy. Fifth gun being hammered with the Stug 3E. 10 kills, 32. Raft Court flanking up here behind the info 2. Artillery fired against the Stug 3E. Raft Court running to the pack 40 here. Up north, Mortar at the ready for Try. Freedom and democracy. And can call in the Calliope now. We'll have to be dust. I mean, almost has the fuel. Makes a bit more manpower for that. Stugi. Running fire cover here for the pack crew. Sadly, just not enough. And the pack crew is exterminated here by the Americans. In the south, the Sherman keeps probing here against the southern flank of Rex. Looking a bit rough here for Rex and Deutschland. Pack 40 pursuing in the Sherman on its own. Need to be careful of that. And we got a Tillerstack called in, I believe, by the Major. Yes, indeed. Very disruptive play, and he's going for the heavy Panzer Corps. Really can't figure out what Rex is thinking at times. That does not seem like it's a bad idea, but... Is it a Panther, not a Tiger tank he's got going here? Like, he definitely needs a tank of some sort, whether it be medium or heavy. Still keep bombarding here. Got the northern fuel pump that for the rear shuns. Really cutting off Rex's fuel income here. There we go. Heavy Panzer Corps is ready. Northern point sees the Rieschland going for the victory point here. 
Another Sherman here for try. No Calliopes as of yet. Really good map control right here for try against Rex. Gonna feel like Rex definitely has made some slightly questionable strategic choices when in yeah, that move for tier 4 here. I mean, he could probably redeem himself here, but if he doesn't, i definitely say that's probably where he, you know, went fairly off uh, the path to victory, perhaps. Anyways, tries just adding more Sherman tanks. He believes in the humble Sherman. Here nearly heading for that northern fuel point. Panzer gonna deal, like adds already. Packs are ready as well here. Could soon go for that uh, Panther here, the Panzer Kampfwagen 5. But again, he could also be planning for the Tiger tank, I suppose, at this stage. Hard to say ultimately what Rex is scheming. It's all between to the 5th Kelly, Sherman bombarding. High explosive shells that already. Packs open the Sherman tank here to the barrage again. He rather bunched up around the some of the two keys, and takes some hits here. Assault is moving up close as well there. Tilly fire. Could see some grenades assault here. Rob Scott being absolutely mauled here. A pretty punishing push here. But can Rex break tries back here around the center? Fifth car, they almost wiped out T. Ralph Scott pushed back. Stugi, they're slowly approaching the ace level. Actually, very close to it. Does look like Rex plan is the Tiger tank. Oh, which one is worth noting? The bonuses here do not apply to the assault commanders, nor the pantagoners. They do not become cheap to reinforce. The pioneers, the machine guns, the pack crews, yes. Assault commanders, the pantagoners, nine. Captain here on the flank from the south against the pack position. Machine gun also not quite ready for that. Stugi could be rushed in, I suppose, to assist. And he's back with the machine gun up in the northern position there. I guess some habits die hard. Sherman's on the move here, pushing ahead for freedom and democracy. Rex, those seconds away from that Tiger tank. There we go. Finally, he can summon forth the Tiger tank. Hold in from the nearby Schwerer Panzer Abteilung. 500 second. Tiger with the Sherman. Good hit there. Lacking any snares, though. They can't easily punish the Germans. That said, we got the packs. We got a lot of smoke here, by the way. Tribe realizing he needs to get out there fast. Just chuck smoke all over the place here. Thumbs up. Almost got some of the Shermans here, but can he get rid of one of them at least? Ah, oh, the Tiger misses. Sherman there, fighting away there. Good hit there. Need to get moving. More top north routed by the MU-42. Apparently didn't figure to be up there again. That Rex will go back to that pattern. Tiger misses again. Wow, that is some really rubbish like here for Rex. Great here for trying. There you go. Got the Sherman cooked up. And Rex actually manages to save the crew. Damn impressive there. Thumbs up. Rex needs to reinforce, repair. He actually needs more Pioneers as well there. I mean, he's got like a Stug and a Tiger Tank and only one Pioneer score. Well, that is definitely not a good ratio of Pioneers to armor. Got one Sherman. Technically has sort of an armor advantage, even if it's like a Tiger and a Stug. But can Rex leverage that is the bigger question now. Can he make full use of that here versus Try and the Americans? Assault guns are ready here. Machine and give us something out. He definitely needs more pioneers though. Sherman, they're ready here. Good to go for freedom and democracy. Looks like he's lining up for another heavy push in the center here. Machine gun. I'm not entirely sure the assault guns are not at the front line. It's the packs and the machine gun being hold forward today. Stugi and buying. Titan front way here. Infantry being met with a fierce flurry of firepower here from Deutschland. Almost got a route called wiped here. But no, they managed to survive it. Up north, the machine was the vehicle crew there. Stugi, so close to 83 assault guns pushed back here. Could deploy smoke. And interesting enough, he's yet to use the smoke ability there at all. Which I think is an oversight. It's quite good. Jackson tanks for a try. Obviously realizing he needs something with a slightly bigger gun to deal with the Tiger tank more efficiently. MG42 push back here with the Sherman. Grabbing the southern fuel point here with the Panzer Grenadier. Grab northern point. Jack's on the way there. Grabbing the southern point. Right, protecting the south here with the Sherman. 
And Rex just keeps focusing heavily on the center here versus his opponent. Still no smoke being deployed here. Or employed, if you will. Should we get pushed back when they change? Does have ace level now. Straight from around here, unleashed by try on the German here. Yeah, I think this assault would have gone much better if just deployed some smoke around here. But it obviously helped suppress a lot of just trying to defense. Made easy for Rex to push through here. Tide tank is finally fixed up. Still need small pioneers. Northeast 2 3 hanging back here. Map to really slipping out of Rex's hands now here versus Try. Freedom and Democracy. Got the pack 40 there. Tide tank going up. Shoots. Hits the tank trap there. But again, I feel like you'd have more success like north south for now instead of just focusing so heavily on the center, just conceding a lot of ground now to his American opponent. Reconnaissance being unleashed again here against the Germans. Almost got the vehicle crew here. 14 kills from the Stug 3E. And to tank gun bouncing. Shots bouncing off the tank tanks, 100mm thick armor. Sherman Jasmine North, Panzer FFRX. Rex. I mean, I can understand the need for rocket artillery, but. I'm not sure that's really what it's looking for. Stuggy being swarmed with the Sherman the Jackson. Good push here, of course, by Tri. Stuggy kaput. Quite the blow there to Rex, as by now. I think he's doing like a fairly good job supporting his attacks and such. Just, you know, he could be using it even better, honestly. Tank tank now heading north of T. Backed up by a few pack crews here. But already now, Tri's armor is vanishing up. We've got the infantry pursuing in the rear, plus the anti tank gun here. Catching Tri Rex is forcing a bit of a bad spot here. Panther have almost done. Fortunate no snares and the damage tiger there. Jack's there, ping pursuit with the pack. Feel like Rex is uh, starting to slowly fall apart here. Tactically, the stations and look a lot more questionable. The way he's moving about the packs, for example, here. Definitely feels to me like he's starting to like really feel the stress here from Tri's tactics. And the losses he's suffered here. We got a Panzer Barrage off, and then we got the Sword moving in here. Does catch, try here to extend it. Grenade assault here. The hat, the munitions fort been great. He actually popped at the other fifth cal, rather than the one that was ready to well maul his assault grenadiers. And the other one just dodged out. We got the machine there wiped as well. Really, really looking bad here for I mean he did get some kills and damage here on tribe, but just the losses he took in the process just were not worth it for Rex. Not worth it for Deutschland. Now both his packs are cleared out, the machine gun as well there. And in comparison. Well, he didn't really inflict that heavy losses on his opponent in return. So it's not looking uh, super great here for Rex and Deutschland. Uh, quite the opposite. Panzerwerfer at the ready here, and it's barrage. Did nothing. What's that one thing you have to keep in mind about the Panzerwerfer? You gotta really nail the shots. You basically got a long cool domain doing nothing. In this regard. It definitely didn't. I'm not entirely sure it was really the valid choice here for Rex to go for Panzer Vefer versus Try. Which he does bunch up his stuff, but at the same time, he's also an overall fairly active player. And it's mostly just the support weapons he bunches up, not the infantry or, you know, the armor. Not that the Panzer Vefer able to do much to the armor in game. The sword are the ready here for Rex. Panzer Vefer ready to fire again. Oh, we do get full bingo here for Try. We do get full bingo on tactical support. Two thumbs up. So there you go. M4 Sherman Calliope out here. No, they had a cousin known as the Whizbang, which basically just fired fewer but larger rockets compared to the Calliope. Fun fact. Sherman North Norfolk Sea. Betting 217 kills. Got the Panther 40 with a Browning Light Machine Gun. Got the vehicle running to the Panther Gun DC. Jack's moving about here. White. The enemy is now at 75 points. Got the climb here unleashing hell here. Pioneer's being slapped across the ground here. Pack also. Oh, white. Tiger tank there. Fraction of health left. Yeah, it's looking pretty much GD here for Rex. Like, he's finally starting to like, focus less heavily on the center, but. At this point, like, Tri is just heavily outnumbering him. And he's also just got a lot more veteran troops going about here, so it's not looking great for Rex. And Rex also just, at this point, tactically isn't quite operating at the same speed or level. It was, like, earlier in the match here either. I think at this point, 
he's kind of, you know, mentally done. Like, you know, at this point, we sort of like seeing Rex, like, you know, probably a bit, you know, uh, you know, feeling the frustration and decision making wise, he is probably starting to make more and more suboptimal decisions. I mean, it happens to everyone, obviously. Everyone. Particularly, no, things are not doing well. Hell, I do it. So, you know. I'm not blaming Rex, I'm just, you know, trying to, like, you know, explain what's going on here, like, because some people, like, tend to, like, you know, make some very cool, curious uh, interpretation than what's going on here. But anyways, Rex at this point very much feels like, you know, he's at the end of his rope. He's trying, but it's, you know, the frustration is sending in that's causing him to make increasingly suboptimal decisions here versus Try, who's meanwhile, you know, having a jolly good old time. Like, you know, so far things are going fairly well for him. While there has definitely been frustrations, he's been able to like come through them quite well here versus Rex. 20 points left here for Rex and the Germans. It's a little of these here, pushing back to my cannon. And kind of these up north here, and he's even equipped them with Panzer Rex. Wow. Further downgrading his ability with infantry then. But also, I think again, indicate that Rex is just feeling the pressure. He's feeling the stress. Five barrage all fee in the center against the machine, and there you go. GG game over. Quite a blow to Rex again. An interesting match in part because I think Rex, I'll try, I mean, played a really strong USF play there. I mean, really well done there. I think a lot of things to pick up there for American players who want to get back in the game, you know. I think that might be something worth starting here. Drax, I think they also had some good elements. Like, you know, again, nice aggressive tactics here and there. But I think there's just some flaws for on how you use machine guns. Again, way too passive, way too static. In particular, like, crucial moments, the machine guns were just collecting dust rather than supporting the main engagements. And I think that, for example, was a big mistake. They tactically and operationally by Rex, and I think that really hurt him as the match went on. Similarly, I don't think, you know, going from Stugi to Tiger Tank was the most ideal choice either. Things should go for some more medium armor first, then you're going to go for the Tiger Tank. I think they're giving more pressure now. Plus, you're going to use the Stugi to, you know, deploy more smoke. So, you know, definitely, I think, some potential here for Rex, but there's definitely also, think, some kinks that need to be ironed out. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed this match and learned something from it. If you did, subscribe, like, share, comment on it. Tell friends, tell family, but don't tell me. This is Imperial LinkedIn. Cheers. See and thank you for watching. Hope to see you tomorrow again for another episode. Bye.